Hey guys, I'm with Andrea again and he has been living in Kiev already one year and we checking how his life changed for this period. So first time I wanted to ask, uh, what did you learn for this year in Kiev? Uh, the first thing I learned, I think that was a big surprise coming, especially coming from uh, Russian cities in Georgia and some other Eastern European countries was the, the quality of food. So not just in cafes, um, but the restaurant quality is really great. Uh, food delivery is really great. Everything to do with food here is very impressive and the quality is really high and I seem to get good food very often. There's not a lot of like maybe Asian cuisine here, but we are in Eastern Europe, so I don't expect that, but the quality of food's really, really good. And it's something that it surprised me. Um, and I feel like anytime I go out, I, I, I can reliably get good stuff. Okay. Um, how's the pandemic changed your life? And what's the pandemic situation right now in Kiev, in Ukraine? Um, okay, so firstly, um, the pandemic has not really affected my life. So I know that's going to be, it's difficult to talk about because I know a lot of people in England had it really difficult. A lot of people in the world have this really difficult. But for me in Ukraine, specifically in Kiev, things have been very, very good in comparison. So uh, I've pretty much been able to go to the gym nearly the entire time. I think there's a couple of weeks where they did some serious lockdowns and they closed the gyms down. But even at that period of time, uh, there were like hidden bars and things like that that would open up a little bit like speakeasy style. So um, they would either be paying the police off to turn the other way, or they were just so hidden that the police didn't know about them. So uh, things were working and things were functioning and I had a social life and... Um, you don't really feel that there is any restriction in Ukraine? Not really, just in those lockdown periods when restaurants and cafes were closed. That's a short period. No, a couple of weeks at the most. Um, so yeah, the year's been really great, I guess. And, and that's right tough now, to say for a lot of people, I know. And right now it's also no, no any restriction. Yeah, so we're in March and... Nothing. N not a thing. Like, I, we Board can do open, place whatever open, we want. So you are free to go. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a little bit difficult, I know, back in sort of the, um, the end of summer, like autumn kind of period when all the hospitals were like overcrowded with people and it was actually a really big problem. It was, it was quite worrying for a lot of people who were living here in Ukraine. Um, but I think just the restrictions weren't enforced. So the government was trying to do things, but no one really enforced it. Therefore, life went on quite normally. And yeah, that's, that was one the truth. thing you can see is that you can have to wear a mask if you go inside indoor, like the supermarket, and that's all. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, yeah, you don't wear does. a mask, um, but that's it. I've been playing tennis, going to the gym, going out, going doing whatever I want. Okay, we both noticed that many foreigners moved to Ukraine, moved to Anil or coming and stay. Why do you think it is? Is it because of pandemic? Is it because of quality of life? Or maybe business perspective? Why do you think? Yeah, I think everyone has their own reasons why, uh, why they are staying here long term. Um, but okay, so firstly, I would say I've been meeting a lot of people from England, um, European, Western kind of countries coming here and staying here because once they realize that Ukraine is very free and open at the moment and London sucks at the moment, um, they don't really want to go back. Like, why would you go back when it's really great here and things are working and you're having a quite a normal lifestyle? So I can understand that. Um, but generally the foreigners that I meet, uh, which kind of annoys me a little bit, but it's the truth is that most guys, most, firstly, most foreigners are guys. 95% uh, of them, yeah. ha I don't meet hardly any foreign girls that ever come here, I'm not sure what the reasons are for that, but the guys that come and they stay for longer term, they're chasing girls. That's generally what they're here for, is they fall in love with the Ukrainian girls um, and they're here to meet a Ukrainian girl of some kind. That's a very popular reason why people get stuck here. I uh, don't know what I think of that personally, but each to their own, I guess. The friends that I have that are foreigners, um, they're all here for, they're actually here for IT purposes. So they're in the business world and they either have their own startup companies or they work for big American companies that are here hiring IT talent. So Ukraine has quite strong, um, it is known to being quite strong in the IT world and they can get developers here for quite, uh, 
quite cheap in comparison to hiring American um, IT services and developers and things like that. So there's a lot of people, uh, foreigners get uh, here to work with their IT teams. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what advice you will give yourself one year ago? Uh, one year ago, okay, so one year ago I was in Georgia and it was starting, the pandemic was just sort of becoming a thing. Um, so I would have told myself one year ago to drop everything and get to Ukraine quickly because Ukraine is going to be definitely the place I want to be for to ride this thing out. Um, unfortunately, I got stuck in Georgia. They closed all the borders down, they even closed some of the roads down, so I was even... Like I was actually stuck in the mountains, couldn't even get to a city there for a while. Um, so if I could tell myself a year ago, I would have told myself to right. quick get out of get out of here and get into Ukraine, and you'll have a you'll save yourself three or four months of being completely isolated. Because why? Because Ukraine is great. Because <laughs> Ukraine just didn't restrict everybody. Yep. Okay. Thanks for your uh, sharing, for your <laughs> answers, and I still have a lot of questions for you. So see you next video, I hope.